this is the page we'll be working on next but I want to show you how quickly you can achieve similar results because um, this is in a previous video where I started this over here I'm going to just show you how to achieve quick results with the sprays, dilution sprays and alcohol inks and I have filled my um, mini mister here with um, rubbing alcohol um, and I'll just create a quick background it'll be different colours because I'll use this for a different layout but this is the process I used through the back of your pages very easily because it's got alcohol ink in there and I've only put a light coating of gesso on but don't worry too much about that because you can if it's too bad which I've never found one that's that bad but sometimes when I'm um, putting dimension on I actually glue two pages together um, but no, it, you'll be able to cover it up of the texture is coming from the stamp that I applied before. Even more will come out later as I highlight it because I use this one here. There's a little bit of texture, the pearl and some of the gold. Okay, here are some of the things I'm making to go on one of the layouts. Um, what I have done here, I've taken these little parasol cocktail umbrellas that you get and cut them apart. You'll see me doing that. And then I have covered them with glass bee gel to give them a bit more colour and reflect um, the little you probably can't see it, but the little glass bead gel beads in there give a nice reflect through it. And um, these are actually made into kites. So I wanted tiny, tiny bows to go down um, the strings of these kites because it's quite a playful little Im image I'm making. So I've used the Craftwork Cards candy, which comes in just a multitude of colours. 
and I've used some of my Christmas ones and some of these ones and I have just snipped them into a shape of a bow tie and I, some of them I've put gems on some of them I have left as they are and I've just put a bit of glossy accents on to give them um, a bit of a little bit of colour on it so that's some of the things that are going to go on this next layout I'm also going to be using from the Fab Scraps range two of the Fab Scraps range this one is of children and they're obviously going to be holding on to these kites and the other one is the words with um, a repeat of some of those children saying playtime and that's go also, they're also going to go into um, the layer. I'll put the children in, but I might actually do a, uh, use a crafting workshop stencil and put it on here. But I'm probably going to do it with um, slightly differently and do it with using the Distress Embossing Powder. So I'll be stenciling through here with a glue pad of some sort or using Reinka for the Distress Embossing Pads uh, or even the Distress Embossing Pad ink itself because it, we've got to remember it embosses. Now the reason why I want to use the Distress Embossing Powder is because it's very textural and it has a roughness to it and that will allow me to come over the top and either decide to put leaves on it or haven't decided yet but that's what I'm aiming for. We'll see how it goes.
ask me what this is. This is actually a sparkle sweeper. You'll see me use it all the time. Um, it's made by Jitikins. Um, it's just marvellous for sweeping up uh, any of your embossing powders or glitter or just sweeping down your pages when you're done. Now, I've alcohol inked the blossoms and I've put them on there. I've put um, glossy accents under them and I've just popped a little bit on top of them to give them a bit of accents. It's still wet so we have to be careful. But now I want to texture down the bottom here. I want to bring in some grass and bits and pieces down the bottom. I'm going to be using, just like I did for this top stenciling, I'm going to be using the archival inks. Um, I might use a few colours, I'm not too sure. And I'm going to be using some of a range of stamps called Stantscapes. Stamp scapes. Now I don't sell these, um, they're readily available in America and you can get them mounted or unmounted. So I'm going to be using some of those in a grassy look. I've got all mine. These I have um, made one of these um, stamping box sticky so I can use them unmounted and I use them for texture. If you look really close, I'll just zoom in for a second. She'll be able to pick up where I stamped originally in the background um, with a stamp, this little places. And the alcohol ink and the um, dilutions have just added to it um, to, to, to give you even more depth. Um, you can see it in this area here. And it just looks like a little bit of a cracked effect, even though the um, stamp was one called Hessian. I have a similar one in stock in my shop. That one I actually used is one I've had for many years, which is a Stampin' Up! stamp. This is Olive in the archival. And I'll just put some grasses in that in. Because this is textured, some of them mightn't come out too well, but I won't worry about that. These are subtle details, but it actually makes a difference to the picture. It just means when I put these on here, it makes the little figures come alive. Like, the, like this movement. Because I need to keep on working on this page, I'm going to use both some Humongo tape, which is a, extremely strong um, double-sided tape, as well as some multi-medium. Um, to hold them down. And that way I'll make sure that they're attached there so that I can keep on working on the page. Because although the multimedia the multimedium is mad as fabulous stuff or gloss. Um, it's a loose glue so that when you apply it it takes a little bit to dry but anything metal the you think of will stay there for just forever. It's wonderful. It's very strong. But it does take a little while to dry and I haven't got time. I'm using the stencil by Crafters Workshop flying geese just to put some birds up there in the air and I'm just going to do this with um, well, I'll try black archival if it's not strong enough for me I'll go over with black paint that I've made out of those cocktail prints. I'll put those around. I have some Tim Holtz string, this paper string. 
comes in packets like this and I'm going to use that to trail down to the children and I also made those little tiny bows that we're going to put on the string um, to trail down and I'll put these on with glossy accents and I'll hear these with a little something a little stronger let's see how it turns out here it is all finished I have given it a coat of fast finish after I've glued down my kites and my little embellishments and um, that's just brought the colour up a bit more and made sure it's well protected from um, fingers and knocking these little bows and things off so there you go, that's another one finished thank you very much for watching Thank you.